Today we're gonna make roasted rack of lamb with black olive tapenade. All right, Michelle. Yes. Uh, we're gonna make roasted rack of lamb with black olive tapenade. We're gonna start by marinating a rack of lamb okay. that we're gonna put in the fridge and let it marinate for a couple days. And what I have here is I have a, a four bone rack and this is Posey Farms. We bought this from Whole Foods, California rancher. Look it up, look it up. When you go home, look it up on the internet, learn a little bit about how they're, you know, it's grass fed lamb. Learn a little bit about it. It only takes a minute and you know, you'll just feel better about the product that you're using. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just place this into our container here. Okay. And we're gonna take our garlic clove, smash it. Wanna smash one? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, smash it with your knife. A little rosemary is great with the lamb. Olive oil. I'm gonna leave this overnight. Good six or seven hours. Okay. Is nice. And this was in the fridge overnight, right? I'm gonna go ahead and season these up. Generous on the salt. Oh, I haven't forgot. <laughs> All right. And we'll pop it in the back. Okay. Start with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And we're gonna go ahead and let that get just up to, to where it smokes. With lamb, you've got these nice natural, natural tongs, right? <laughs> that you can use. Press it a little bit when you put it in. Now I'm gonna turn that down to medium high. And we're gonna go ahead and let that roast nice and slow. Okay. And get color on it. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and I'm gonna take the rosemary and the garlic. So good. This I'm actually gonna use just a little drip of the olive oil. And I'm actually, this isn't a base to cook. Um, a lot of times we're basting, you know, we're browning the butter and we're basting it with the yeah. brown butter to finish cooking it. I'm gonna finish this in the oven. Okay. Um, but I just wanna get some of that flavor from the aromatics. So now we'll go into our 300 degree oven. All right, Michelle, so while our lamb cooks, we're gonna make our tapenade. Nice. Okay? This is, you know, rough chopped olives, chopped garlic. And is that anchovy I see? Anchovy, yeah. Thyme. And this I'm gonna have broken, so we're gonna add our vinegar. And olive oil. And you can just go ahead and mix that. Okay. All right, Michelle, so we've rested now for about eight minutes we rested this. Okay. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rack. One thing when you're cutting lamb, go ahead and look at the bones. You know, look at how the bones are running so that you can cut right along the bone. Yeah. Uh, my God, you're making it look good. <laughs> you're well, you taught so me how good. to do it. Can I put these really yummy pieces on top? It's your plate, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> See, because I, I love eating. I love yeah. seeing this and I love eating the garlic afterwards. Yay! Look it looks pretty. beautiful. Nice rack of lamb. Okay. At home, I would just, just, it, just it, you picked know what? It up. <laughs> I would too. I actually love to walk around with a lamb chop in my it's, hand. You know, <laughs> when nature gives you a handle, you should use it. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. Great combination, huh? Rosemary, olives, mm. garlic, and lamb. <laughs> Hard to go wrong with that. This is so good. I'm definitely making this at home, and when you guys make it at home, let us know how it is. Mm.